What up guys, as you see here, here's our divisional standings. We are in second place. This week we have mid-10, let's see, State, who's right there in fourth place. But we really need to keep up here. We have a five-game win streak right now. We're three in conference and two in divisional. And we have a lot of guys showing up here to our home game. We had like a three-way game stretch. And this is important because we have Brandon Grady Jr., our coach's son, here at the stadium and a couple other O linemen and some defensive player. You see our defense I mean our offense and everything is getting ready. Both teams are getting ready. A nice little divisional battle right here against mid Tennessee State. We're really looking at this team and looking at chops because we've beaten a lot of teams that that are better than them. Like FIU. We beat uh some other teams too like Vanderbilt. So let's see if we can get it here. Pat Johnson's our starter now in this game we're making Pat Johnson our starter because Steve Kugel just gets injured too much yep it's a, it was a change that took hard it, it took heart for me to make but I think it's the right move for our team so here we go we give it to Marcus Murphy and as you see we're really going to focus on the rushing game because Pat Johnson isn't the best passer in the world but as you see here is our pass game oh passes to Marcus Murphy we'll see a lot of more rollouts too with our quarterback because that's just what I'm going to do with him because he's a little bit more quicker and wide open is Pekerin, the second string now because Low Jack is injured. I think he's about injured for five more games, if I'm correct. Here we go, an option play. Jacob Applebaum's in there. Nice little spin move. He has open field to their 40, to the 45. He gets knocked down at the 44. Jacob Applebaum with a nice run. Impressive run. Good job, Jacob. All right, Marcus Murphy. The junior spin moves, spin moves again, and gets down at the 10-yard line. I mean, for a 10-yard receipt, oh, fuck, for a 10-yard rushing yards. God, I can't even speak today. Whatever. So here we go, a nice little tight end out route, but we pass it to MK Harsh, who's going with a nice little curl. They stop it, fourth and second. Okay, we're gonna go for it, cause our kicker sucks. We pass it, and oh, what a bad pass! Come on, we can't afford stuff like that. That's really what we can't afford. Okay, we have them on their third and one. Can we stop them? Third and one. Oh, we had a chance, but Josh Lavelle reads it perfectly and gets a tackle. Clutch tackle by Josh Lavelle, because that was looking like a touchdown. If we're looking at that again, yeah, look how much open space. That was a touchdown. Josh Lavelle saves a touchdown. Also gives us back the ball. Look at that pass. Good pass there. Nice. Just, this is nice on the little post right there. We're going to do verticals. Pat Johnson rolling out. He's going to scramble. Try to get the first down, but he runs out of bounds, avoiding the contact. All right, third and three. Here we go. Another chance here to make a play. He passes to MK Harsh, but BR, the safety, reads it perfectly and gets a pick. And uh-oh. This is not looking good so far. <laughs> it's not looking good so far. I mean, for the rookie. I mean... I know Steve Kugel might need to make his return. And they're going to go verticals on us. Grammar has all day in the pocket, but then eventually gets sacked by... I actually have no idea who that is. <laughs> it's just number 97, let's just say that. So they get stopped there. It's first and 10. We really have missed a lot of opportunities to score. We really should be up like 14-0 to zero right now, but it's two stupid mistakes happen. All right. So second and 10. He passes it to a wide open MK Harsh with a nice pass. This rookie, our freshman, shows a lot of progress and a lot of hope, but also makes a lot of stupid mistakes. Okay. Wide open Marcus Murphy, who then he gets it and then gets laid out by the defender. Marcus Murphy, way to take a hit. He's out, obviously. He's not injured, but I just subbed him out so he doesn't have to take another hit. Pat Johnson gets in there for the first touch on the game. We're up 7 0. All right. We're finally scoring here, guys. This is what we need. So we need it right here. All right. So Grammar is back there. He sees someone open. He's not open. He gets sacked. That's a nice little coverage sack. We have three plus sacks in the game. It's fourth and 15. We have another opportunity. We should be up like 21 to zero right now. Should be a blowout. Pinkerin, the second string. What a spin move. Gets the first down. That should have been like second and eight. But now it's first and ten. That's nice. Right here, first and ten to end the second quarter. He passes it to Chassis. 
what a vision what vision to see that right there nice freaking 30 yard pass that was very nice throw Brandon Gray he's liking what he's seen from his rookie oh and he throws a pick that's not what he likes to see that's already two picks in the game he takes a knee we could be up 14 to 0 right now before the half we could actually been up like 28 to 0 right now which we should be and uh oh they're taking advantage it's the third quarter start of the second half Terry Pettis they're looking a little bit warm right now we need to stop this momentum second and two a sack could be useful right here anything could be useful looks like a QB option QB sneaker but the left linebacker gets it Parrish good job Parrish that saved us right there we really need to stop right here but now it's third and six now we need another one can we get it grammar in the backfield see someone open he passes it he's not really open Josh Lavelle with the pick can take a knee but he doesn't and he's down there we have another opportunity our defense is just balling out for us making opportunities keeping us in the game good job by the freshman safety Josh Lavelle look at that good just good everything looking like Charles Woodson out there you know that was nice Pat Johnson gives it to Matt 10 getting us out of the goal line on our side so here we go we're gonna do a nice little verticals play he passed it to Pekrin who then catches it nice by the sophomore tight end he's been making moves right now replacing low jack and Henderson has low jack spot so oh what a bad pass what a bad pitch I mean but Marcus Murphy with the speed dies there before number 20 that looked really bad kind of flew across the field so Steve Quiggles out I had to put him out and wow that's not a good sign <laughs> He kind of messed up that, and uh, I think we actually go for it. Or did I? Wait, no, no, we, we punted it. We actually punted it. I think that was the first time I ever punted it, because our punting also sucks, too. So here in first and 10, they're first and 10. Our defense needs another stop here, and oh, we had it. Josh Lavelle needed to get there faster, and Bassman just needed to use his vertical or something. Uh-oh, almost went off sides there, third and second. They're doing slants, and look at 0-4 with the pick. Our defense doing it again. We should be blowing these guys out. Why is it only 7-0? Come on. Steve Quiggle's still out there. All right. He's back in the backfield. He passes it right out of it before he gets sacked. And Steve Quiggle isn't looking so good, but neither is our O-line. Let's give him that much. But they also they get another stop. We had to punt it again, and uh-oh. This is looking bad. Our defense is not getting any rest right now. And, you know, the defense can only hold for so long. As you see here, he goes, breaks a tackle, almost rolls in for the first, or for the touchdown. Second and goal. That's a flag. It's an offsides on our defense. That's really something we couldn't use right there. And everything's just falling apart right now. We should be blowing out mid-Tennessee. And here they go in for the touchdown. Wow. Horrible performance so far in the second half by our offense, but our defense is not to be blamed. It should be it should be like seven to thirty eight right now, basically. So we have another chance to get a score right here. Steve Kugel rolling out, looking a little faster for me. Gets a first down right now. That's a good that's a good first down. We really needed that. Third and four, we really need this right here. Okay, he rolls out and has to throw the ball away. He's one of five for seven yards. I really still have faith in Steve Quiggle. All right, we're going to do another nice little out route. Wide open. MK Harsh drops it. The first down. That was an obvious first down, but he drops it. Oh, man, that's not clutch. So now they have the ball at their 40. And, oh, man. Oh, man, it's falling apart right now. A nice run by the quarterback. This is really what we did not need. We can't really lose being in the second division if we want to make it to the playoffs or some type of championship, like the play or the conference championship is what we really need to. But whatever, we get a pass right there. We still have hope. We still have faith. And our offense come through. I put Pat John. I mean, Steve Kugel is still out there. Sorry. But we just need Steve Kugel to get a little hot. All right. 
So Steve Quiggle gets the run. He pitches it to Marcus Murphy, but misses the pitch. Oh, Mam K. Harsh with the clutch little reception there on the pitch. Wow, that looked really bad by Steve Quiggle. What is he doing right now? Okay, let's stick with the pass game of Steve Kugel. He throws it right to the defender on fourth down. What a horrible throw. I don't know if you saw that, but circle was wide open. I was trying to pass it to him. I was trying to lob it to him, but that was not the pass. But look at our defense not getting a tackle. And everything's falling apart. And they're blowing us out now. They're blowing us out now. This should be a blowout on them, and now they're blowing us out. And now it's just looking hopeless right now. And a pick. Yep, I think after this game, Steve Kugel loses his starting job. That's let's just say that much. I mean, wow, they've blown us out in the fourth quarter. <laughs> we should be blowing them out, but now they're blowing us out 28 to 7. And oh man, Steve Kugel's still out there passing it to MK Har, MK10, whatever his name is. And that's the end of the game. What a bad game, let's just say that much. And that's the final. NWT Simone, good game of good game with them. Uh, end of a end of a win streak. So see you guys. Peace. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.